Warble for Lilac Time by Walt Whitman. Read for LibriVox.org by Kristen Hughes. Warble me now for joy of lilac time. Sort me, O oh, tongue and lips, for nature's sake, and sweet life's sake, and death's the same as life's. Souvenirs of earliest summer, bird's eggs, and the first berries. Gather the welcome signs, as children with pebbles or stringing shells. Put in April and May, the hyalis croaking in the ponds, the elastic air, bees, butterflies, the sparrow with its simple notes, bluebird and darting swallow, nor forget the high hole flashing his golden wings, the tranquil sunny haze, the clinging smoke, the vapor, spiritual airy insects humming on gossamer wings, shimmer of waters with fish in them, the cerulean above, all that is jocund and sparkling, the brooks running, the maple woods, the crisp February days, and the sugar-making, the robin where he hops bright-eyed, brown-breasted, with musical clear call at sunrise, and again at sunset, or flitting among the trees of the apple-orchard, building the nest of his mate, the melted snow of March, the willow sending forth its yellow-green sprouts, for springtime is here, the summer is here, and what is this in it and from it? Thou soul unloosened, the restlessness after I know not what. Come, let us lag here no longer, let us be up and away. Oh, for another world! Oh, if one could but fly like a bird! Oh, to escape, to sail forth as in a ship! To glide with thee, O oh soul, o'er all, in all! as a ship o'er the waters. Gathering these hints, these preludes, the blue sky, the grass, the morning drops of dew, with additional songs, every spring will I now strike up additional songs, nor ever again forget these tender days, the chance of death as well as life, the lilac scent, the bushes, the dark green heart-shaped leaves, wood violets, the little delicate pale blossoms called innocence, samples and sorts not for themselves alone, but for their atmosphere, to tally, drenched with them, tested by them, cities and artificial life, and all their sights and scenes, my mind henceforth, and all its meditations, my recitatives, my land, my age, my race, for once to serve in song, sprouts, tokens ever of death, indeed the same as life, to grace the bush I love, to sing with the birds, a warble for joy of lilac time. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.